We moved to the United States when I was eight years old, 1988, and, and I try to think back on leaving Colombia, that's my native country, and I don't remember much of it. I remember moving, uh, packing a lot of things. I remember um, having to get rid of a lot of things because we could only take so many boxes with us. And I remember coming here to a new school where I didn't speak the language. Um, I don't remember my emotions at the time, although my mom says I was very upset, I don't remember that. But I do remember just thinking, I need to understand what people are saying. I, I was in school and the first day, I think I understood two words the whole day. When we left Columbia, my dad was a college professor and um, he was actually the dean of um, the college. Uh, my parents just decided to leave because it was getting pretty dangerous in Colombia. We had the opportunity to come to the U.S. Uh, as legal residents and my dad had to leave behind his job as a professor. Um, my mom was a stay-at-home mom and she came to start working full-time whereas my dad had to, he didn't know much English so he had to start out being a busboy and being a uh, toll booth operator. So it was quite a change of our family so I really admire them for doing that. At the time you're growing up, you don't really think about your parents doing this. You don't think about how much of a sacrifice it was. So it wasn't until I became much older, when I was in high school and college, that I realized what they did for us, that they just gave everything up to give us a better life. And we wanted to, to do the most with that that we could. I am very passionate about being a materials engineer. and. It's because I see the applications, everything is so practical. I could be at a party and something will fail and I'll, I'll say, let me see that. Come here, I'll tell you what happened to this. Why, if it was made incorrectly, if it was used incorrectly. And so I just, it, it is such, it's a career where you can apply it anywhere. And it's also a very fulfilling career at NASA because everything that you're looking at is so unique. I really don't encounter any bad perceptions. Um, I don't think that I've had any, any troubles being a female engineer, and especially at NASA. I always feel like I'm valued as a colleague and as a coworker. I don't think back on the past too much, but uh, I know that it makes my parents very proud. It makes me proud as well, but I think for me, the enjoyment is more seeing how proud my parents are, my mom and my dad. Um, my grandparents, and to see where we came from just 20 years ago to where we are now. I mean, that makes me very happy. I'm Clara Wright, and I work at NASA's Kennedy Space Center.